So now to connect the LED to this 80 mega 328 microcontroller um, explained mini board we need to take our existing setup that we have learned how to set up in our previous lesson and this is the circuit if you remember from our previous lesson uh, let me just quickly talk about it so here we have an LED which has a longer leg and the shorter leg of the LED the shorter leg of the LED will going to connect to the ground the longer leg of the LED will going to connect to the PD7 pin but through the resistor and you can see this leg of the resistor will going to connect to the longer leg of an LED this longer leg because these pins are internally connected right they are internally short in a breadboard so the longer leg of an LED through resistor this is what the longer leg of the LED and we will going to connect this to the PD7 pin and if we take this explained mini board then you can you can count 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this one is PD7 I can show you if you can read it there is a little label that says PD7 and then we have this ground pin that we should connect it to the ground so in the opposite side there are a couple of ground pins so the second and third you can, I hope you can see this this one is the ground pin this two second and third so I would going to connect to the ground pin that's how we will going to connect this LED to the PD7 pin I hope you can see but I'm not exactly sure but if you have this board physical you can read there is a little label which allows you to understand which one is the PD7 pin and this one is the ground so once the socket is set up then we can write a program and upload it into the chip. Since we already have connected explained mini board uh, to our laptop, let's fire up Atmel Studio IDE. So it might take a couple of minutes, um, I mean one or two minutes to, to fire up the IDE. Uh, as soon as we fire up the IDE, you can see our IDE Atmel Studio recognize that we already have connected 80 mega 328 explained mini board right so that's a, that's that's a great we don't have to you know do any other stuff that means our uh, IDE does understand that we want to program 80 mega 328 explained mini board so because this page doesn't make a sense to me right now I would like to close it and just make a little bit big this IDE and that's how our Atmel studio looks like in the first place okay to create a project because the goal of this video or the tutorial is to show you how you can program this uh, explained mini board I would like to create a project so I will click on file new and project then I would select GCC C executable project and then I would like to name my project as a blinky and then I would select the path I'm okay with the desktop I I always like to um, create a project on a desktop especially when I create uh, a lessons or tutorials and uh, then I would click on OK so it will create a project for us and then it gives us a device selection box where we must type 80 mega 328 because that's the microcontroller that we want to uh, program so I earlier made the spell mistake but right now you can see I have a couple of 80 mega 328 chips so I can select 80 mega 328 P and then I hit on OK so then it will start creating a project for me and as you can see right now I have a couple of lines of code on my screen so you see the left uh, sorry the right side of my IDE I have a solution explorer where I have this blinky project that I have created and then I have this main.c file on which we will going to write our code so when we look at this uh, main.c file we have a couple of lines of code where we have this comments so I rather like to remove the comments 
and all the comments I want to remove because it's better when we learn something um, try to uh, start from a scratch so what we have right now is bare minimum code where this first include statement is the uh, library from AVR that includes the IO functionality so that we can access the GPIO uh, pins uh, input output pins on the 80 mega 328 microcontroller and then we have the main function that's where our program starts execution and since 80 mega 328 is a microcontroller it has to have this never ending while loop because microcontroller doesn't have the operating system so whatever programs you write in the while loop or the microcontroller uh, it keep executing right so that's why you see every microcontroller program has to have this never ending uh, while loop okay or sometimes people also like to use for loop but I'm okay with the while loop that's that's, that's fine so since we are programming um, explained mini board our explained mini board comes with 16 megahertz external clock uh, crystal oscillator so I would going to add or define the frequency of a clock so I would say hash define F underscore CPU so we are basically defining the frequency of a clock it's a 16 megahertz so I would like to define this micro um, F underscore CPU as a 16 million because it's a 16 megahertz clock so make sure there are six zeros so now it looks okay then uh, we come back to our main function and we have connected an LED to PD7 pin on explained mini board so we would going to say DDRD register because our PD uh, 7 pin is connected to data direction register D DDRD and we must say or is equals to or you can say DDRD is equals to 0 B and then we must say 1 0 0 0 and then 0 0 0 0 okay so what basically we are doing is we are making this PD 7 pin in the data direction D register to be configured as a output because LED is an output device which is what we have connected to PD7 pin and then we go to while loop after defining the direction of the port pin for PD7 pin we must have to write port D okay and we say port D is equals to 0B because we want to represent in a binary then we say 1000 and then 0, 0, 0, 0. okay so that's how we will going to make this PD7 pin to become in high because this is PD0 then PD1 PD2 I hope you know this from our previous lessons and then we turn off uh, turn on the LED connected to PD7 pin so between uh, this on and off so let's say if this line of code turn on the LED then this line of code will make the PD7 bit become 0 so this will turn off the LED connected to PD7 okay so between turning on and turning off we must give the delay so we can create a blinking effect so to turn on and off and to give the delay we must add uh, one more uh, library so hash include and then we must say util slash delay dot h okay so once we add this uh, library and then we then when we come here after turning on the PD7 pin we must say underscore delay underscore melee function so underscore delay underscore ms means milliseconds and this function takes the value in a millisecond so if I write a thousand here that means we are giving a thousand milliseconds of delay that means a one second thousand milliseconds so let me copy and paste it below this so we turn off turn on the PD7 pin to turn on the LED then we wait for one second then we turn off the LED connected to PD7 then we wait for one second and this code will keep executing so that will create a blinking effect so that will turn on and off LED connected to PD7 pin 
Okay, so now to upload this code on our 80 mega 328 microcontroller, uh, especially on explained mini board, we must have to go to tool. Okay, um, and then we must click on device programming um, option, and then um, then we must say the tool embed ATML whatever embed. Um, debug wire is a tool that we want to use and then the device is 80 mega 328 it takes by default and then interface is ISP uh, to program the chirp if you want to debug then it might be different but for now we just want to check whether our um, IDE recognized this explained mini board so let me click on apply and you see now it detects the 80 mega 328 microcontroller let me uh, click on this read button that will read the device signature so my microcontroller chip has this unique device signature so this is all looks cool so let me click on memories because when we write a program okay let me remove this whatever it is so when we write a program then we must have to browse the file hex, hex file to our a explained mini board so because we have not yet compiled the code uh, we have no file but let me close this for now okay and let me go ahead and click on build option on the menu bar and hit on build blinky so this will uh, compile our code you can see in the output window we have uh, the build one succeeded and if I take you back to my desktop this is the project blinky and if I take you to the file or the directory debug you can see there is a blinky.x file that's just we have created now so we have this hex file and we can now upload this code hex file into our explained mini board so let let me go back to the tool section and um, tool uh, device programming uh, apply go to memories uh, click on this browse button okay go to desktop and blinky folder inside debug I have this blinky.hex file okay this is the hex file that I want to flash into the flash memory of a microcontroller that's the program memory so let me click on open and now when I press this program button this will program our microcontroller and as you can see right now uh, the microcontroller on explained mini board 80 mega 328 has been flashed with the firmware of blinky.hex file into the flash memory right so let me close this and you can see right now the LED is blinking let me slightly change the delay so let's make it a thousand milliseconds instead of thousand milliseconds let me make it a hundred milliseconds so the led blinking will be a bit faster so then let me go and build again go to build option on the top and say build blinky this will compile the code once again and after done compilation you will see uh, build one succeeded go back to tool go back to tool click on device programming again apply read device signature if you want click on memories and then go back uh, browse the your hex file that you just freshly generated select the hex file hit open and then hit this program button so we are now reprogrammed this 80 mega 328 chip on the explained mini board and you see now LED is blinking quite a bit faster with a hundred millisecond of the delay so this is how we will going to program the 80 mega 328 on explained mini board um, and it's very easy I think you don't need to uh, install any additional utility software in order to program the chip right so i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining in the next lesson we will going to do a lot more interesting stuff maybe we will going to use a timer interrupt and all other features in avr microcontroller so thank you very much for watching and we'll see us into the next lesson bye bye